All right, everybody, let's have a look at the award ceremony. But before the award ceremony, I want to find out what these awards are and what is going to be given away. So I'm going to have a chat with Megan. Megan, how are you, Han? Good, I'm great. Congratulations, this is an amazing show. Thank you. It's a lot of work, but it's so much fun. The crowd outside is brilliant. People are having a fabulous time and there is so many trucks. So many trucks. What have you got behind you and how what are you going to distribute? Because there is some good looking stuff out there. There is. There really is some good looking stuff. So we have, we'll start with our big awards. We have Truck of the Year and these trophies are based on um, out of all the trucks out here. This is a different level of show quality um, and they're, they are they're not voted on. Um, we have professional judges mm -hmm. in plain clothes that go around to judge. A lot of other awards or truck shows or car shows, they do things like a sticker to let them know they've been judged and that kind of thing. We don't do anything like that here. Um, all of our judges are in plain clothes. You'll never know who they are so they can get their job done because we have the largest classic truck show in the world, which means they have to go through thousands of trucks. So in order for them to get their job done, they're in plain clothes, you'll never know who they are. But they are professionals and they go around and they uh, choose the, the best show quality truck possible. Okay. But here at the Grand Nationals, we actually love all the trucks. So we have different awards for different trucks. We have a patina um, and we have best in class. We have different things. So we really appreciate the trucks that, that are not show quality yet. Mm -hmm. I can also, before I leave this topic, say Daddy has a driver and he has a show truck. Mm -hmm. And our driver means more to our family than our show truck does. So we really appreciate those drivers. We really, truly love all different stages you are with your truck. It means a lot to us. Love that. Absolutely love that. Staying on the Truck of the Year yeah. awards. We've got three here. There is one that's a little bit taller. Yes. So is there a top three? This truck has the most registered for this category in this year. So this is the 53. 53. I love that because the 56. Think, anyone out there, when we think about the F100 truck, we think about the 53 to 56. Right. It's most popular. That's what comes to mind. And they are beautiful trucks, whether they're restored or not. So that is going for that. And then we've got two others here, which look like the dents and the bumps, which is very popular these days. They are. And, and, and we have decided to also showcase those as well. We have so many entries. Top three is only fair at this point. That makes sense, but it's not just that. Like you said, you do have best of class, but what I love, Megan, it coming down here, got a lot of best of class, but this is the table that drew me. We've got a best patina, best panel truck, best crew cab, as well as best stock. Check that out. So no matter what you have, there is something. And of course, the best bed, I love the beds, you know, everyone gets so creative with their beds. <laughs> they do. But there is a lot of awards here. There is a lot of awards. What are some of the other significant awards that you want to show and tell people, especially for future registrants and participants coming to the show, what's there to look out for? Okay, absolutely. So we do also have a four by four award. Um, that's pretty new to us and we're really excited about it because we have some amazing four by fours that have entered. Uh, they're truly breathtaking. Another award I want to talk about is our amazing youth award. We do that every year and it's in honor of Brett Ford and we give it to young people so un under the age of um, 18 I think is what we do. Under we, the age of 18? We do and they are building their own trucks. Um, they're very active in the sport of trucking and so we actually interview those participants every year. Brett Ford would be who would be running this show today but she was killed by a drunk driver. So we make sure to give a incredible use award in her honor. This award, it tears my brother's nerves up. This award um, is given to a young person that is really into the sport. They're, they're building, they know about trucks, they are the future of this sport. And we give this award in their honor. This year we had the opportunity to spend time to interview two amazing young people. And the first one was Lee Miller. We're going to give her the runner up award. With this award, we're going to give her some gift certificates and we are going to um, make sure that you have free registration next year to bring your truck. She's going to bring her truck next year. 
We were really impressed with this one young lady and all she knows about the sport and her truck. And she is 21, am I right? She's 21 years old and she's out here killing it for the young women. So we are really proud to give a runner of award to Lee Miller. Please give a round of applause. to apply for that, all you have to do is come to the front desk and check us out one of the days, preferably before lunchtime on Saturday, so we can get your interview in. You'll set up an interview time with myself and my brother Joseph, and we do the interview for that award. Love that, absolutely love that. What better way to include the younger generation than to have that youth award? Yeah, it's to build the sport. We're really we're really appreciative of that. And the amount of knowledge these young people have is wild. We've had women, and young women and young men win this award. So it's something we're very, very proud of. Love that. Congratulations to all the winners that you are going to be seeing next here in the award ceremony. But before that, there is something exciting that I'm going to get Ashley to come here and tell us about. Thank you so much, Megan. Thank you. All right, everybody. Now you've been trucked. That's a term that we have heard, we've seen, and one a few lucky of us have actually been trucked as well. What is it and what does it mean? And more so, why am I talking about it right now? Ashley, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Tell us about You've Been Trucked. Okay, so You've Been Trucked is a image of the sport, period. Um, it symbolizes us as a unit, as a whole, as family. Um, it defines camaraderie, um, friendship, family, and just fun. Um, it really does because the F100 family is huge and this show is a big reunion mm -hmm. to all of us, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, I had to be here. If you guys have been following the channel, I've Your been first show. around. <laughs> mm -hmm. And this was my first show on the channel. So for me, it's huge and Every time I come here, it's like you're part of a big reunion. Mm -hmm. And now, Ashley, you found a way to actually show that. I did. Tell me. So what, I did. what is it? <laughs> so I, I racked my brain and, of course, had influence. Um, so I had to find a way to find a way to acknowledge our family. Um, I had to find a way to keep it exciting. I had to find a way to keep it fun. I was obsessed. <laughs> so You've Been Trucked is exclusive to the Grand National F100 show. I ask that you send a video to me via text, if you have my personal, or via Facebook, preferably. Um, then I will post it and share it. I encourage you guys to be creative, enthusiastic, and fun. And fun. So this video that they are sending you now is Ashley Hudson Carpenter on Facebook, everybody. 
they're basically showing what they did with that sticker. Mm -hmm. So whether you want to get, you know, quirky with it or you want to fish it out of the pond. <laughs> Perfect, perfect video. I will speak on her right now because loved it. Now she is a fellow woman's man in the sport and um, her creativity went to next level. She put her you've been trucked that I sent via mail in a bag, threw it in a pond. Well, she was probably in a river and then reeled it in like she caught a fish. I love that. I love it. <laughs> So get creative, but please do not inflict any harm on those beautiful Ford trucks. Do not harm yourself and do not harm others. Or any animals, because you are a big or, advocate. No, first and foremost, <laughs> do not harm any animals. I will hunt you down. <laughs> okay, Ashley, now I was, where everyone's gonna have fun with these videos, but what do they get? Besides yeah. having everybody see their love of the Ford era. Brings us to this beauty. Oh, check this out. This year is one. what I wanted to share with you guys. This is the Grand National F100 You've Been Trucked Promoter's Choice Award. Now, this is pretty flashy and it gets better. Turn it on for us, Ashley. My pleasure. <laughs> Look at that. So, <laughs> one of the videos will be selected to win this beautiful award. Okay, so people coming in next year, registering, participating in the Grand National F100 show in May 2025 and wanting to get their hands on this award, you have to send those videos in, get creative. People, if you have come in here, you've got a sticker with you. So if you're already part of this show and you took home a registration packet, there is a You've Been Trucked sticker inside that. So you've already got the sticker. Now all you have to do is make that video and send it over to Ashley Hudson Carpenter on Facebook but do get creative, involve your families and your kids because I look forward to seeing those videos. And then that way you'll be in the running to winning the award for next year. But today we're gonna find out exactly who won this awesome award here next in the award ceremony. I just press play. She just said to about press play. Give her a thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Okay. There it is. I didn't do anything. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> it's not my fault. <laughs> I was just told to press play. Okay, so bear with me. We do not have sound, but this year, um,
cool. Ashley Carbon. He just been truck. Josh Miller, you have officially been trucked. Thank you, Ashley Carpenter and the Carpenter family. We appreciate everything you do for us. I'm Josh Miller from Fairview, North Carolina, and I've just been officially trucked. What did I tell you, Holden? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. And go ahead and tell that. Music Road Resort. We had someone get married at the show. We think that's kind of cool. This folks on the 56 Path truck that's now on the Joey Legato NASCAR Path.
Thank you guys, congratulations. All right, our next class is a very popular class, and it covers all years as well. It's the Patina class. Top two, very special. Number 978, T.C. Carver. And number 242, Mike Goins. You guys come on down. Congratulations, I appreciate you, man. We'll we'll talk about it. We'll you guys come up here. The old crew have fun. Yeah. Come on. Let's get guys. together here. Come up front, take the take the picture. Y'all line up right there. Old crew cat. I'll sign that right now. Southeast F one hundreds, old crew cabs. Congratulations. Jeff Pullman, number 65, Ray Ramsey. Y'all come on down and get your 
picture real quick. if I came over here. And uh, so he goes in, gets a guy that's in an office, and the guy comes out and says, you can park anywhere you want to, but don't go down to Maurice's garage in park, because he'll have it towed off. <laughs> so, so they found out Maurice was running the whole show, and they better stand straight instead of wanting their car back or their trailer back. So, Raymond, uh, was a brother I never had. He was a roommate at one time. He was super guy, do anything for you. I worked at the ski lodge for years, 54 years to be exact, as a ski patrolman. And I called Raymond one Saturday morning and I said, Raymond, I got a problem. My old car just messed the water pump up. I need a water pump. He said, I can take care of that. I said, well, it's, it's 23 degrees outside raining up here, and we're making snow. You, can you come and, and help me with it? He said, I'll come and do it. That's the kind of guy he was. He shows up, and I showed him where the car was at. And every half hour or so, he and his buddy who's sitting right over there, Dewey Sharp, uh, came in to warm up. <laughs> and uh, the only thing that kept the snow off of them was the hood of the car. So, Raymond was a, a one of a kind guy. So I asked Joe if uh, we could do a presentation that was in the name of Raymond Clark here. And Joe said he didn't have a problem with it. He'd be happy to do it. So, Joe, thank you very much. Yes, sir. Do you want to present that to his friend? <laughs> yes, I can. Okay, ask him to come here and get his friend. We'll, we'll be good to go. Do it. Come up here, man. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you.
502, number 631, Michael Evans. Number 575, Donnie Blackwood. Come on down. Come on down, Billy. We gotta snap a snapshot of it. 